Doing a soil test on your lawn is not critical for it to be healthy and get a green lawn, but doing this test is really going to help you out to apply products to your lawn that is going to help it thrive, saving you time, money, and making your lawn healthier in the process. So there are many ways you can do this. You can get a DIY at home kit, and that's what I've done previously, and I've had all right results, but this time, I want to up my game a little bit, and that's why I've got this RX Soil Test Kit. Now, there are other brands out there, um, My Soil Test, and various other labs that you can get a test kit like this from, but I'm, this is one I'm going with. They're all very reasonably priced and very similarly priced, as a matter of fact. So, let's get into it, get the soil test, and see what the results are. So, you are looking to get a kit like this. It comes in the mail, you just order it online. And then it comes with all the codes and numbers that you need to be able to track your sample and your results. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video once I get my results back. So in the box, I've got the instructions and it comes with a little bag that you need to fill up. Instructions, it tells you exactly what you need to do. But the most important part is this part here. It's collecting your soil sample and it says to um, sample should be taken from a depth of two to six inches. So that's what we're going to do now and fill our bag up. Now that we have our sample, we're just going to want to make sure that we take out any stones or foliage or roots. And now all that's left to do is fill the bag to the dotted line. Let's see, that's filled to the line. Now we've got the bag filled. We're going to keep our card here because it's got all our numbers and I need to register this kit for my lawn. So we can look at that. Once the results are back, but I just need to throw this in here, like so, close it up. And this has a shipping address on it, so it can go to RX Soil, which they are out of Virginia. First time you log on to RX Soil, you have to register your kit so you can get your results. I only did this when the results came in. If you have more than one lawn that you want to set up a test for, you can add it here and you have your grown areas. Because I've only got one kit, I went to the test kits here. And then something to note is the results did take six days to come back, which I didn't think was too bad. This is the main tab where you can see all your results. And the first result we want to look at is Soil pH. You can see that's at the top there and it is low we're at six we want to be between 6.2 and 6.8 so it's clearly obvious we need to apply lime the next thing we're looking at is organic matter is low so we're going to, need to fix that and then our capacity to retain nutrients is low and interestingly enough soil ph and organic matter increase your capacity to retain nutrients so we need to work on both of them to help out that one point the rest of the results are a bit over the place you can see phosphorus is dark green so it means we've got enough potassium is on the lower side calcium is right where it's supposed to be roughly same with magnesium it's a little bit on the low side and sulfur we're really low on sulfur then on to zinc we're kind of in a medium point there magnesium we're good iron we're high copper we're good and then boron we're a little bit low then if you continue scrolling down your page you will get recommendations of how much product to apply and when to apply it, they'll even have a link there to Amazon products so you can buy the products really easily without having to figure out which product you should buy. So you can see here they recommend a fertilizer in the spring and then a micronutrient in the spring too, as well as some lime. Looking at the summer, they don't have any recommendations there, so you shouldn't be applying anything. And then moving into the fall, they have three more recommendations for a couple of fertilizers and an application of lime, then nothing in the winter.